TCAP practice test for grade 7. Uh, this is question number 55 of the math section. The graph shows the relationship between the number of ounces of laundry detergent used and the number of loads washed. Uh, what does the slope represent? All right, it's a slope question. So remember, if you've seen any of the other videos, when we talk about slope, we're talking about change. So it has to be, one of our choices has to be something about something that changes. It can't be set or fixed by a specific amount. So if you start seeing numbers pop up, that's probably a bad thing. Uh, if we're just asking a general statement about slope. Uh, let's look at the um, axis labels really quick. On the right side, or on the y-axis, on the left side I mean, on the y-axis, I have number of ounces. On the bottom, I have the number of loads washed. Now, if you've heard the previous explanation, the, uh, ver con the term used for slope, or the variable used, is m. m is the slope. And like Mario, who wants to go up the stairs to get to that flag in the old 80s version, you've got to go up before you go over. Otherwise, you'll just keep slamming into the stair over and over again. You don't go over first. You would look at the stuff that goes up. So if I was going to do up versus over, if it was going down, I'd do down versus over, but it's not. Um, so in this case, I'm going to do up, which is number of ounces. So I'm doing ounces on top. On the bottom, I'm going to do what makes me go over, which is loads. And this should set me up for the answer choice. So let's look at the answer choices that are available. A says the number of ounces of detergent per, per load washed. Ounces per load. This one looks really good to me. But let's check the other ones, you know, make sure they're not the other answers. Uh, B says the number of ounces of detergent used in 70 loads. See, we have this evil offender of 70 loads. That's locking us in. And if slope represents change, it can't be one of the ones that has a number in it. Um, number of loads washed per ounce of detergent. So this is loads per ounce, which would mean loads would go on top. That's not what our statement says. Mario would keep slamming the wall if that was the case. And the last one, uh, number of loads washed was 70 ounces. Once again, we can't be fenced in. So our answer to number 55, based on what we learned from Mario and what we know about change, is uh, A.